Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today we are going to be making a dress form. Actually, last week we tried to make a dress form. However, it didn't turn out so great. Ta-da! My own dress form. Carl was falling apart. He wasn't keeping his shape. Yes, his name is Carl. I named him after me. And so today we're going to give him a makeover and make it much better. Something that I can actually use. And because we're still under social distancing measures, a lot of retailers are still closed. So I'm going to be using the material that I found in the dumpster diving that I did from that so so let's get to it. First thing we're gonna want to do is start laying these out. Now I sort of cheated here because my first dress form was made with 100% love and no form of structure. It didn't turn out so great. So I did some research online and found a template that I could download with my exact measurement through Bootstrap Fashion. I've included the link in the video description below in case you're interested in more information. Almost 45 minutes just to cut all of this up. Whoa. Okay, they're all taped together and ready to start tracing out. This is the fabric from the sofa that I was checking out in the dumpster and I'm just gonna start tracing this out. With the single piece of fabric from the dumpster sofa, I was able to get all the materials I needed for this dress form, which means that I have more dumpster fabric to work with for future projects. One thing to note though, when adding in a seam allowance, make sure that they're the same measurements for all pieces so that it's easy to work with and that the pieces align together nicely. As you can see from my cutting, I'm simply eyeballing it and well, we'll see how it turns out. I spent the last hour and a half taking out all these zippers which more than enough for what my project is. I'm so tired at this point. Ah! And here are all the pieces laid out. So you've got the bottom covers and then this is the main body. Two of the front sides, two of the center sides, two of the back sides, and then two of the cent uh, center backs. And then over here, we've got the the tube fabric. I don't even know what it's called. And then you've got the two sides here, which is the front support and the back support. And then finally, you've got the neck piece and the two arm covers. I also have over there cardboard cutouts for the base, the arm, and then my styrofoam for the neck. You could also use a sponge, but I had styrofoam, so I went with that. Now that we have all our pieces set, the first step is to pin together the center back piece to the side back piece, right sides facing each other and matching the notches I've marked on the fabric. Once in place, I then sew them with a straight stitch using a number 2 stitch length. And once it's sewn on, you just cut on the seam every 5 eighths of an inch. I don't even know if that's 5 eighths of an inch. I'm just eyeballing it as usual. Next we've got our side front and center front. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did to the back. So we're just going to line it up, pin it and then sew it down the middle. Make sure to mark your notches and make your cuts on the fabric beforehand so that it's easier to line them up as you go along with putting the pieces together. So here what I'm doing is I'm just ironing down all of these inseams so that they lay flat. And I gotta do that for all of the pieces. What we're going to do now is we're going to pin these together, side back, side front, and then we're gonna sew it down. And what I did to make it easier was I made some notes. So each panel that I was cutting out, I was putting what they were, so center back, side back, but then I also numbered them. So number one, and then number two, just so that it's easy for me to track. So just to recap, I pinned together the center back panels to the side back panels, lining up the markings, and then sewed them together up to the bottom of the armhole, like so. Once you've attached your back sides, back side, your back sides together, then you want to repeat the process of ironing these down for both pieces. Now that I have it sewn together, it's going to be pinning these two, the two center front pieces, and then sewing it right through the middle. Fold together, right sides together. What I found to be the easiest thing to do is to match up those notches that I've marked at the beginning and made the little cuts so that they match up. You see the little notches that I made at the beginning? It allows me to just line them up and I'm gonna keep doing that all across. Once the panels are pinned in place, you guessed it, I sewed them together and ironed them out. Here, what I'm doing is top stitching around the armholes. Then I pinned together the shoulders, sewed them in place, and then made the cuts on the seam allowance every 5 eighths of an inch. And finally, I top stitched the neckline, similar to what I did with the armholes. So I top stitched as you can see. I've also gone ahead around the armhole and the neck hole. I've done my snips throughout. So now that I've got all that done, I'm going to have to attach the neck piece onto the neck part here. But before I attach it, the neck piece onto the body, I top stitched 
across the top. I pinned the neck to the body piece, lining up the markings to the seams. And then once that's in place, I stitch it all together and iron it out. And so the next stage is to flip this inside out, pin, and sew the seam all the way down to the back to close it off. Again, make sure you're matching up all these notches together. At this stage, I think you know the drill. Pin, sew, snip, and iron. Now, next thing I have to do is sew this part to the neck. I'm going to make some cuts around here so that that can slide in easily. So then I'm going to pin that, matching it up to the notches that I've already had. See these notches that I've marked all throughout earlier? Those are going to line up to these notches. So that notch matching up with this notch. Just as a heads up, I forgot to film the sewing part, but I'm sure you all know what that looks like at this stage. Okay, so I didn't realize that I wasn't recording when I was stitching this on. Instead of snipping this, just cut this back by like a bit so that it's not too bulky around here. Then I'm going to add the armhole covers. And at this step, we pin the armholes in place. Careful now, don't prick yourself. Ah. Oh. Oh. And once again, we go back to sewing them in place. So next thing that I have to do now that I've got somewhat got the armholes in is to put in these stabilizing covers. On the inside, I'm going to stitch it halfway through and then the cardboard pieces will then slide in here and then I will finish it off. So I just slid the cardboard pieces in and then I'm going to finish this off with hand stitch. I am going to fill in the neck with this. What I realized was that this here is a bit too shallow so I've got another piece. It's a bit smaller so I will use some of the stuffing here as the stuffing to fill it up. Tuck this in. Slide in your styrofoam or sponge. I have styrofoam. I found it in the dumpster by my building. It's all about upcycling. Circular economy friends. I'm going to use this piece. So I'll just fill it in with anything that I can find to stuff it. Take a look and see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks, looks about right. One thing I forgot to do was I was to do two pieces of the back inner support and the front inner support. Because I've run out of fabric, I just used whatever other fabric I could find, which was padding. I've just pinned these together and I'm just gonna sew it. So next thing that I need to do is I need to put these together and sew them along that seam line. But before I do that, I just want to measure this to make sure because I found this bedpost down in the dumpster as well and it's got a bit of a notch. So I just want to make sure that it is able to slide in there easily, no problem. Oh yeah, that works. Also what I did off camera was I stitched lines down on the back support as well as the front support just to give it a bit more structure so that it's not too floppy and too loose. When sewing the pipe cover, you'll only need to sew the sides together and the top seam. For the bottom part, make sure to cut six strips to attach onto the bottom of the cardboard base later on. Now I just want to test and see, make sure that it can slide in easily. It fits, it slides. Now, we gotta attach these pieces onto that. See these notches? Cause I don't. Oh yes, here we go. These ones attach to here. This notch here and this notch here. And then this one is going to attach this notch to this notch with the W's. I had it upside down like this. It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like this. I'm gonna fold it over and then sew straight down along the seam. Now that that side is done, I'm just gonna flip it this way and we're going to repeat the same over here. We're going to take the W's. The W's are over here and then we're going to stitch it like that. So this is what that piece will look like once it's all sewn together and then attach it to this body piece. This is the front, this is the back. We are simply going to match up these notches Pin that together, and then we're going to sew it straight through that line. Now, what I didn't get to show was that you're going to match the notches and only pin the support piece to one side of the seam allowance on the body piece. Remember how we flattened them out by ironing them down? Well, we only want to sew it to one side and keep the other side flat, which you can kind of see in this clip. Now that we've got that piece attached, we're going to attach it to the front piece, just like that. We're just going to match it up to these notches that we have 
and then we're just going to repeat and sew it down onto just one side of the seam. So I have one side here and then we have the other side here where all of that support is in place. Next thing that I have to do is do the bottom, the bottom base. This is the front base, front base, bottom base, bottom base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch these together on the seam and then I'm going to add in the zipper. Here we're adding a basting stitch as we'll remove it after we sew the zippers in place. And then now I'm just going to flatten this and then add in the zippers. So I've got my zippers in place and now I just have to sew it with the zipper foot. I've never used the zipper foot before because I've never really had a use for a zipper. So this is going to be my first time and I know I'm probably going to mess this up. I'm going to remove the pins from the zipper and then I'm going to repeat on the other side. So now that we have the zipper in place, we are going to go ahead and open up the base stitching here. So we just go right through the middle. And ta -da. Yeah, one side looks good, the other side, meh. That's okay. Again, I'm not too worried about it. On the other piece of the bottom cover, I sewed down the seams in place and opened up the base stitching. So I take the back base and I put them like this, so back to back, and then I'm going to sew all around here, sew all around there. You'll also notice that I released the stitching and the seam of the zipper piece closer to the center of the cover and pinned those back. You'll want to do that to be able to flip the piece over in the next step that we'll go through. So now that you have these two sewed together, then we're going to take this and we're going to Fold it back like this, and we're going to pin it so that it's in place, and then we're going to do the same thing on this side. So we're going to flip it, and we're going to pin it together. Just take that off, flip it like so. First time doing zippers, guys. I'm following tutorials that I've spotted on YouTube, and I'm using those as my reference point. So now, this here is tucked inside out and it looks like that. And then we're going to top stitch all across so that it finishes it off. It does look much cleaner. I actually do like this look. It, the zippers are hidden and it's I didn't have to sew the top here. Now the next thing I gotta do is attach this onto the bottom of the body. So this here is the front piece. This is the back piece. I have my markings here. Line them up here and then sew all the way around. So this here stays on the outside and then this stays on the inside like, like so. I'm not sure if it was the bulk of the fabric or the zippers, but I had two needles break on me while sewing this piece on. <gasps> So what I had to do was use a heavy duty needle for jeans to secure this in place. If you don't have a heavy duty needle, just make sure to go slowly and carefully at this stage. Now that that's in place, I am going to flip it around and start stuffing this baby. Carl is going to be deconstructed. It's time to say goodbye. You will have a newer body. Not that there's anything wrong with your body, you're just falling apart. Oh, you're so soft. We turn the dress form inside out and begin the process of stuffing it with filling. Bye buddy! For the stuffing, I'm using the insides from the sofa cushion that I took the fabric from at the dumpster. So essentially, that sofa is being transformed into dress form. Now if you don't have a spare sofa cushion lying around, you can use any type of polyester fiber fill as your stuffing. What you want to do as you go along the way is to measure your chest, midsection, hips, and waist to ensure that they match your measurements. As an added step, I put on a button down shirt onto the dress form to ensure it fits well and that the buttons aren't over stretched. Finally, last thing that you need to do is put in your cardboard. So before you keep stuffing any further, you just want to put this in, line these up to where all those seams are. And here you just pull these out, get this all set and ready. Once your glue is warm enough, you'll simply glue on those straps from the pole cover onto the cardboard base. I'm gonna let that cool and set before I continue stuffing it. For the base, I found an old computer chair in the dumpster and drilled the bedpost into the seat. And may I introduce you, Carl 2.0. That's great.
Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe for more sewing videos and do share some comments down below. Also, if you do make your own dress form, I would love to see how yours turned out. So do share that as well. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time. Bye. Now that I've gotten, got it. Blah, 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 blah.